Caleb Williams in the locker room for the Young Bears, hoping to dethrone Detroit today with some last-second meditation. Then you've got Jared Goff, who directs the hottest offense in the NFL. He says, hello, America. It's time to feast on some Thanksgiving football on CBS. For the past 90 years, on a Thursday late in November, America has come to expect three things, family, food, and football in Detroit. Come on! Lions and the Bears on Thanksgiving Day. What a catch! This city, they love the team, and all they want in their whole lives for Detroit football is to win games. Welcome to new Detroit Lions! Lions have the best record in the NFL. NFC North is a great division to be in. It's just a great opportunity to go out and play and be part of this tradition. The Bears are not going to go quietly. With time, we often forget to acknowledge the good things. To show gratitude for how far we've come. The Lions' best start in 70 seasons. We get this day to remind you what's important in your life, your family, your friends, your teammates. Connecting with something bigger than ourselves and making traditions that will define the people we become. Today, the wind blows into Motown for the 19th battle. Are you going to give your all today? Two cornerstones set out to make their mark on an age-old custom. This is one of the, the great holidays that we have. You want to be at the end of the game eating a turkey leg. You get the whole turkey. <laughs> it's a legendary game, and so we have to uphold it for our best. Whether it's the first time. Dan Campbell for the touchdown. Or one of many, we share the little things. Just in time for the classics with all the fiction. Get on up and go play, kids. From our family to yours, happy Thanksgiving. Yes, it is the great American holiday, isn't it? And we're all united by this great game of football all across the land, from New York to L.A., from Charleston to Chicago, Denver to Detroit, and the Bears and the Lions land here in the Motor City to meet once again and bring it live to the booth. Hello, friends. Good Nance. Tony Romo, Tracy Wolfson, Gene Sturridge. It's great to be with you. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. A lot of things to be thankful for. And partner, I'm thankful to be sharing this holiday with you once again. Uh, it's my pleasure, Jim. Nothing like family, football, and fun. Thanksgiving football. And I tell you, America is falling in love with the Lions. If you haven't already, wait till you see this act today. They are electrifying and led by Jared Goff in an offense that leads the league in scoring. They're as well-balanced a football team as anyone in the National Football League. They're also really creative. It's old school meets new school. The gadgets, the creativity, they do it all. And they do it as a disciplined, fundamentally sound football team. If you have not seen them this year, Jim, you're in for a real treat. <laughs> Who knows what they have in store for us today as far as the trickery. And then you've got the Chicago store. They've lost five in a row. Just a month ago, we were in Washington, the Hail Mary game. They were four and two, just a whisker away from going to five and two. And now they're trying to find themselves. Caleb Williams, he's done some good things here of late, but they haven't won. Yeah, it's a fine line, right? That bounce from winning and losing. They just need to finish. They have not finished these games, and that's why they're on the five-game losing streak. But Caleb Williams has played his best two football games the last two weeks. Since the coordinator changed, you're seeing this thing improve. This is a tall task coming in here today for the Red Hot Lions. All right, Tony, let's go down to the field right now and say happy Thanksgiving to you, Tracy. Thank you, Jim, and a happy Thanksgiving to the both of you. Jared Goff told us he's thankful for many things, but on the field, he's thankful for his two running backs, Jameer Gibbs and David Montgomery, both of them at least 10 rushing touchdowns in each of the last two years, and he will have David Montgomery active today, suffered a shoulder injury last week, but we were told he is good to go. As for Caleb Williams, he's thankful for the confidence that his new offensive coordinator, Thomas Brown, has instilled in him. His message, take the check down, but when it's time, go be Superman. We'll see who will be the hero today on this Thanksgiving day. Well, the Lions, they are highly motivated for a 10th consecutive win because they've got a streak the other way when it comes to playing on Thanksgiving Day. They've lost their last seven. And Jared will tell you, that's the biggest thing for them today is to get a win on Thanksgiving. It's time for the Lions in stadium announcer, Chris Fritching, to set up the national anthem. 
to honor America with a performance of our national anthem. Please welcome SRG recording artist, Mike Phillips.